So like you did see from the or in the IO review, we did get like two set of these. Oh. I think I I starting to have a little bit too many boxes. I have two case boxes here. I have two IO boxes or pack I guess full of products here <laughs> right now. And when I'm installing these, those boxes are just staying at the home. I don't know, maybe with the fan boxes I can just throw these away. With the cardboard trash. So it has the RGB controller. Uh, the IO has a RGB controller. This has the RGB controller. I did already sell the one of those RGB controllers for 20 euros with the original IO fans. I did get the 40 euros. So that means I need to get rid of all those extra. I can keep one just in case at the home if mine is breaking up or something. But when we have one, two, three. So yeah, I can sell one more. These are pretty heavy fans. And this set is costing something, let me see. So right now, one set is costing 38 euros 90 cents in Finland. I don't know about the price in the European countries, but I like this. We have the standard frame, nothing fancy here, just white fan and the cooler must be in the middle. I don't, I'm honest, I don't like the Cooler Master new logo when it's just the shape. I like the original one, the Cooler Master text in the logo. Cycle Flow 120. Pretty beefy. I need to hide this in somewhere. Mm, yeah, maybe there is serial number or something, but come on, Cooler Master. And maybe just get rid of the RGB controllers in the every box or every pro product box where is <laughs> RGB light. Stop giving the RGB controller away for the same price. So I'm happy to pay like 35 euros or maybe yeah, the same price. But I don't really need the RGB controller. It's just taking my time when I need to list that to the marketplace or somewhere and sell that and ship that. And, and it's it can save a little bit with the packing material also. Okay, this is the tiny one. So this is not the same one what is coming with the IO. So this is pretty much useless for me. But there is the secure things here, at least. Mm, yeah. Hmm. Now I'm interested. Can I control this somehow differently? It seems like no, there is only two ports. But I don't get these with the IO, what is wait? It has the RGB fans. Mm, I like to have these with uh, secure clips for the fans. When you have the so wait, yeah, it's basically just. Yeah, forget what I did say about the RGB controller, but hmm. I think most of the users still or builders have like one big RGB controller or RGB hook or something, how they co connect all the fans, all the pumps and everything to the one big box. So giving something like this is basically just producing more waste and junk. 
because you need to have aces to this box. And or you can have aces to this box if you have case panels and everything installed. Then you don't have any more aces to this box. Or of course you can squeeze the all the cables through front panel. Uh, maybe blue it is like that or double side tape is somehow like this at the bottom corner of your case so you can click this and you don't see that much capeless or something I don't know it doesn't just make sense to have like some controllers with every product boxes So RKP controller, clips, screws and headers, uh, SATA cable for the RKP controller, uh, splitting cable for the fans, yep, I think I don't have header like this in my motherboard, but <laughs> I need to just Take this middle knob or wall or what the hell is this put away so I can install this. So three mm, two, two are coming from the pump or the radiator. So the next one is basically close to that. But why the one is different colors? I don't know. This beefy like I know it's rifle bearing, but it feels like it's it's not metal, but it feels like metal. Wait, is that metal? Maybe it's like plastic. This thing is heavy like hell. Okay, I don't know. It feels weird. It has like metal feel to it, but it's plastic still. And the weight is something I don't know. What is the the address from the box? And why? Why? Just a little bit more. The cord like this. Yeah, but two year warranty. I don't know about if if I see these in my case, I'm pulling these away, no matter what the, about the warranty. And mm, I think in the EU you cannot limit the warranty based on sticker or anything like void if removed. Same goes with the graphic card when there is the sticker void if removed. You can change the thermal paste. And the manufacturer needs to show that your actions did break the product, if it's breaking down. I can be wrong, but it's something like that, the legal text in the EU side. New plate testing, optimized plate testing with update, updated curve that improves airflow and air pressure. Yeah, that is the reason why I did get this, because the airflow and air pressure. Sealed bearing structure. Sealed and separate fan bearing. Okay, yeah, that looks interesting. Preventing dust and lubricant oil leaking while increasing the fan's operation relative stability and lifespan. Wait. You say this thing is lasting more. But you still give us two year warranty. Hmm. That is pretty interesting. Uh, updated lighting, dressing, featuring eclipse model lighting and enchanted lighting effects. Certified compatible with Asus Aura, Astrock, RGP and MSI RGP motherboards, both RGP and ARGP versions and we have the in sunset fun frame 
Enchanted uh, frame structure reducing turbulent flow and noise and increasing overall work efficiency. Yeah, we have the rubbers here and really solid, solid frame here. I'm really happy with these fans. And I'm happy that I did change the IO fans for the cycle flow ones. But yeah, it's make the out back for watching and uh, next video is going to be the boiling and that is going to be a live stream about the boiling my setup or not. Basically I need to unbox the case still. So that is going to be the next one.